Salutations everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Sunless Sea. I'm your host, Brainboy20, where we had last left off, we had played a lot of chess with uh, virtually everyone on Port Cecil multiple times over, while we were also finished hunting down Malt Palmerston's specific uh, strategic information, and we were just about to shove off to Ports Unknown, or I should say to Ports Known, so we can head back to London Refuel and restock. What are you? An albino more. Oh, I think I'm about to get rammed. No, no, uh, apparently the albino more can't actually find me? Uh -huh. No, you can't follow me. Stop following me. I'm gonna hug the island so you get stuck on it. Alright, there we go. Can turn the lights back up. No. Are you done? Alright, maybe we'll find the Fathom King's lair in a moment. Who knows? Yeah, yeah we, we can stop fighting now. It's like, we really can. There's not much we can really change here. Thank you. No islands within range, but that's just kind of normal at this point. We are going to make a stop in Wisdom just to grab a port report there, as I don't think there's much else for us here. And naturally we'll avoid the rifts, because I really don't want to see what happens if you fall into one. Anyway, day-to-day -day events. Uh, let's see here. Nothing really much has gone on in my life, so I guess I don't know why I brought that up. We'll just keep sailing. The seven Zs. Well, I continue to put off doing any real formal work, because I really don't feel like doing anything tonight except doing a bit of recording. And I get the feeling I'm probably not actually going to make it. Unless Shepherd's Isle can give me some fuel, I don't think I can make it back to London on what I currently have. Let's see. The Prism of Wisdom will only give me a port report. I love how we also feed the crew every couple of days, as opposed to anything really re truly reasonable. Anyway, what else do we got for me? Uh, I'm guessing maybe the Salt Lions would be a great place to stop. No, it's really my choice. Shepherd's Isle, Station 3, Pigmoat Isle, and the like, or head to the Salt Lions. Which, admittedly, the Salt Lions are much closer to London, but Station 3 would give me more money. I'm going to actually go with the Salt Lions here and hope I can get lucky with the fuel. We'll just hope we get lucky with it. We're probably not going to, considering I'm noted as the antithesis of luck. But, well, we'll find out. Haha, <laughs> they look, there's the Con 8. That's cute. Alright. We're not going to try to even stop at Con's shadow. We need to visit the Fathom King at some point, but I'm guessing he's going to be dead the south of Khan's Heart, considering what else is already there. So, which, how's our map look? We've seen a fair amount. We've seen a fair amount. Now, if only we could find another port like London. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. Right. Khanate War Triremes. <laughs> How about we don't? How about we don't fight the Khanate War Trireme? Considering what what does it have? Like, three times as much health. And I'll probably deal a fair amount of damage per shot. Oh. You really want to force this fight, don't you? Well, I, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I can thankfully outmaneuver you. With these very fancy maneuvers of listing lazily to the left and stopping at port briefly so you can't touch me. So, we shall visit the Unmakers. Lose some terror, gain a fragment. And, naturally, we'll carry Sphinx Stone to London, if my hold will permit it. It actually won't. Can I just... like... I'd like to ditch it. Please don't tell me it jettisons all my cargo. Good. You too will get tossed, but I don't really need that much. What I will actually do, though, is carry Sphinx Stone to London. 
And naturally, we'll also pick up a porter port while on our way. Which, while this massively overfills us by a lot, they'll get some wine so they don't have to deal with that horrible, horrible saw lion that they have to watch every single day as they break it apart. Anyway. Ugh. It really is a tiring day. I've been awake since, like, what, 6 in the morning? And it's currently 6 in the afternoon. So I've been, no, I've actually been awake since 5, so I'm 13 hours awake. But then again, that's just kind of my normal at this point. So I'm always bloody tired. So I guess there's always that to complain about. <laughs> Although, really, I'm trying to get the Father's Legacy journey continued, but I really need to find the Fathom King before I do that. And while buying a new ship seems like it'd be an excellent idea, the new ships that they currently have available for me don't really fit my interest, considering they don't boost cargo space in any way, shape, or form. If they did do that, I'd actually be interested in it, but unfortunately that is not the case. Oh. Oh, we missed, we missed Demono's Isle, but I guess we're just going to make a straight shot across. Through the Bony Reefs, of course, as straight as the Bony Reefs will permit. But we're going to try to make it back to London without having to expend all our fuel. And with the amount of cash we should make off of these investitures... Seriously. Stop. Thankfully, that apparently doesn't qualify for damage, which I guess is nice. Again, I also guess we're doing a very, very glancing hit, and we're just bouncing off the island. You know, let's get that out of here. No one wants to see the cursor constantly. You know, I really like these types of journeys, where you just get to listen to the music and relax. Oh, it looks grand. You could take in the sights, the sounds, the smells. Smells. Okay, good, there's nothing wrong going on. <laughs> Uh, could have sworn I smelled something. Then again, I also have a very, very terrible nose, so that would explain why I'd smell something. I'm not really used to smelling things in general. You see, this is the kind of journey I would usually cut out, but I'd almost feel like it'd be jipping myself of a lot of work and effort I'm trying to put into speaking, as well as having a little bit of a time to chat. Well, there's really not much to chat about. I've been swamped with work and have basically been unable to do a lot of the things I've wanted to, such as set up the Patreon and otherwise. Or at least do a bit more research on how to set that up properly, as well as make the video, because my nephew came over this weekend, which everyone knows how much I like my nephew. Or at least like my nephew when he's uncontrolled and just running about the place. And we seem to make it back to London. Without any major issue, in fact. The only major issue is that I'm continuing to yawn. Also, Z-Bats. z, -bats. z swarms, why are they in the undersea? Actually, no, I just answered my own question. They're in the undersea proper because this entire place is roofed and covered in caverns. Uh, anyway. Returning to London, collecting messages from the Harbour Master. What do you have for me? Rose's Wharf. Another free evening. The Alarmy Scholar has invited you to call on her at the university. Ooh, the veteran privy counselor is seeking an outlandish artifact. He is there surveying curios from distant pools with the palace servants in muted slippers. The Empress dislikes loud noises. Well, aren't you just a little tad uptight? Anyway, deliver the Sphinx Stone. We don't need all of this. Sign, 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 here's a receipt, here's a discretion contract, here's a penalty contract. Your vision's been blurred by the end of it all. The cart rumbles off into the coiling fog. Here's your reward. Rose Market, let us drop off one outlandish artifact and see what we get. A collector of sorts, the veteran privy counselor holds a mirror behind the artifact and examines the reflection. Hmm, yes, inferior to London workmanship, obviously but it will make an acceptable conversation piece nonetheless. He snaps his fingers at a servant. Pick at the captain. Fair enough, fair enough. Those things went for, like, what, a hundred gold in Khan's shadow? Although, in my case, it's more of free. Uh, we'll pass on the strategic information. 
giving us more favors and morality, more echoes, and 20 favors. Is there anything you need? Uh, we need to wither. Well, that gives me a good reason to return there. I think I... Oh, yes, I need the five supplies as well. I was low on supplies. Too low, in fact, to go to Frostfound. But it looks like I'm going to be stuck messing around with the northern sections of London for a while until he actually decides to do something different. Anyway, what else do we got here? Now, port reports to submit. Did Mount Palmerston do not my issue? Port Cecil, the principles of coral. I have no idea why anyone thought that settlement was a good idea. Pig Moat Isle. Chapel of Lights. Frost Found. Wisdom. The Salt Lions. And there's nothing else for me to do in this very moment. Although I could try to hire up a new recruit, I still need a surgeon. So let's see who's available. The Haunted Doctor, the Genial Magician, or Engage a Zailer. Well, I think I'm going to engage the Officer of the Haunted Doctor. Please, I must leave this place. I can work my passage. I'm a doctor. Hearts and Pages. Thank you. This is mine? It'll do very nicely. Excuse me. I'll just turn up the oil lamp a touch. I just like the dark. Well, don't mind me. Welcome aboard. We now have a full complement of crew. My skills are in the 60s or the th high 30s. And it is time to visit the Alarming Scholar. The Alarming sc Okay. A little present from the Scholar. You've been so very helpful. I wanted to give you something for your next voyage. I bottled it myself. Dark glass. It smells pickled. Chemical. Salty. Once it might have been an eel f flesh. But the scholar assures you that it has vital and nutritional virtues. Save it for an emergency, perhaps. I, I do have to say thank you. I'll give you a strange catch, considering I don't actually need these anymore. I don't need them that much. Deep excitement. The scholar circles your specimen jar, tapping at the glass with a variety of tools. Screwdriver, magnet scrutinizer, tuning fork, flensing knife, and a sort of slotted spoon. This will keep them going for weeks. She, he, says, half to himself. We'll dine at the high table tonight, I think. And gained ten echoes, so therefore it wasn't really worth it. Anything else do I have here? Not really. So let us go and visit my little brat. Hello, kid. I must visit you once more. Hear some tales of the far lands. There was something you saw far across the black ocean. Share it. Your child's eyes grow round as pennies. They store up the memories of his dream fuel. Much later, you find the scene you describe scrawled on a fu full scalp sheet by the childish hand. I want to go away to Z. Your child wants to sign on with a ship. Already? But time passes quickly. And most quickly on the Unto Sea. How many years have you been at sea? Don't ask. Time operates slyly. Out in the dark. Permit it. A family tradition. If your child survives, many sailors don't. You of all people know that. This is how you gain a scion, allowing your next captain to choose two legacies. Forbid it. You know what happens in Z. No child of yours will risk that. Will they listen? This will reassure you, setting terror to zero and reducing nightmares. Well, it might destroy my family, but this is kind of the entire point of this setup. All is well, for now. New Year's Day, 18... Quartermaster's Assistant of Legal Age, signed on recommendation of Legal Guardian. Give equal treatment. You have a scion. When you die, the next generation may take up the torch. In the meantime, they will live at home. Probably. Your child has gone to Z. You have a new accomplishment, a Zion. Your memories, memoirs, Z fever quality has vanished. Adventurous desire, I don't have anything yet, nor can I have qu acquire anything. Now, what was the next, like, decent ship? This is the one I've got. You don't actually improve the whole... No, you degrade it. The Corvette does not improve it in any way, shape, or form. You're the actual upgrade, meaning I need a whopping 7,000. 
Jesus Christ, really? I mean, everything else is just well out there, unless I get something truly insane. So I guess we will start stocking up provisions, for it's time to head on out once more into the Deep Black Sea. Our current objectives this time around... Uh, naturally 17 fuel, 15 supplies. This should carry me through most of the way, and we'll also drag aboard two bits of casks of mushroom wine for going straight north this time around. With the haunted doctor in tow, we shall be taking our irrepressible cannoneer, haunted doctor, bandage pushioneer, tireless mechanic, and citadel navigator, bringing them up north to the um, wither, and then heading to the Chapel of, not the Chapel of Lights, but to Frostfound, as hopefully there we can finally advance the Sigil Ridden Navigator's story. In the meantime, we'll also have to hunt for Polythereme, but I believe that's a bit out of the question, because I really need to improve my ship's speed. And to do that, we need Veils. Hmm. Important. So... What else can I do? Honestly, I'd basically just be starting a lot of quests. I might actually give Sunless the treatment I promise occasionally on uh, Conquest of Elysium 4. And that is the treatment of, hey, we're starting to get to a point where it's kind of pointless to continue going on. So instead, we are going to not waste your time, and we will actually just skip ahead a little bit in story-wise, until something has happened. Anyway, loot and scuttle, cache of curiosities, a stout crate creates the source of sustenance, the fundamental element of cargo. I gain two fuel. Yeah, you sadden me, but I'll, I'll send one fuel over. Done. Disappointing. I gain literally one fuel back in that engagement for ten hull, which... It's not really that cheap to repair, unless you're in a really good relationship with the Admiralty. But then again, I also really am in a good relationship with them. Not because I can actually afford my fuel. Oh wait, this is Wither. Oh no, it's not Codex. It's Wither. Wither, not Codex. There's a very, very, very big difference. Wither is where you get Salt's Curse. No, Codex is where you get Salt's Curse. If you don't have the space open to pick up the informant... Anyway, Susan Copper Long Box, we'll see what occurs here in Vendorbite. Also, selling off the mushroom wine to make a quick penny. So, take the wine off me, will you? Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we can, yeah, we can sell tomb colonists. I don't know where I could actually find tomb colonists. I can't. Oh, I can sell recent news, that's interesting, but no thanks. I can't buy Memories of Distant Shores, either. Although, in the Arcade of Size... Nah, never mind, there's nothing really interesting here. Alright, so I guess we shall visit, gather some gossip, and explore Vendabite proper. A raggedy fellow. My lord, I'm a good Z-man. I'm yours if you'll have me. Will you have me? I'm hungry. I'll work hard. He seems likely enough, if a little ragged and sorrowful. Take him with you. You could use an extra hand. Leave him here. Strangers are too chancy. You've heard stories about things in the shape of sailors. Or you just don't like the look of the face. We'll pay his passage home. We have the money this time around. We're not getting a bigger ship anytime soon. An act of generosity. An enthusiastic handshake. Thank ye, Captain. All I can give ye is my blessing. Poor ragged thi raggedy thing. And this cloak. Raggedier yet, but it was a good carnate work once. Save Z's to ye. An outlandish artifact. That ah, disappoints me. I was thinking there would be something much bigger. Oh well. Further on to the north, we head to Wither, hopefully dodging any of the lifebergs, because I don't feel like getting hit by a truck. So I'm also not fast enough to actually handle a lifeberg just yet, because I would have to keep it basically circle strafing. And having an opponent with a much shorter turn radius means that circle strafing really doesn't work out unless you're massively outpaced them. 
Where am I? Ah, yes, we're almost to Wither. Just take me a little bit more talking, and I'll probably end the episode in Wither, unless something uninteresting happens there. In which case, we might try to end it in the Chapel of Lights of Frostfound. Hello, Lifeberg. Hello. Can you hear me? I'm in the undersea where it's trying to go and kill me. Hello. <laughs> Please don't murder me. Don't hit me for all the damage that I know you can. Okay, good. Not my problem. I'm just going to sneak between these two where you can't physically reach me. Give up, Lifeberg. I can hear your ice crackling, but you're not going to get me this time. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse death. What do we say to death? Not today, especially to the likes of you. We can uncannon, you know. Thank you. Wither, a chilly city beside a waste of salt. Riddling contract. Who seeks the ships? Is the Khanate our true enemy? What is the nature of sleep? I ask, Witherners only answer a question with a question. It's an annoying habit in a spy. I wish we could piece the report together. A riddling contact. Your contact's riddles make little sense to you. Perhaps you can combine them with the lore you already learnt. This will use up fragments. Not a humongous issue, and I don't have enough mirrors to pull this off just yet. So we'll gather some port port here. And we'll also get a riddling contact. A long struggle. Eventually, you've teased the meaning out of his words. It's like trying to convince a cat to release a ball of wool. He's a cat smug, too. At last you have your information. And we'll just explore the town, see what happens. Ah, the wind speaks again. I don't know if that's the... Oh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, Storms. Nice to see you again. You fall into a reverie as you wander the shore. There are words in the wind, a story of sorts, of a gate in the north, of a pale light that began there, of a drowned light that will end there, of a high wilderness that other ships may sail. You lift your eyes. On the wall of a salt works, someone has scrawled, Is there a sea more sunless? Well, naturally. And we'll, of course, we'll ask about the drowned man. The initiates of the house are reluctant to speak of him, but you may be able to bribe them enough to gain a few tenuous snippets. The law and the loss. The drowned man's brothers, I and sisters, gave him to the knives and the lacre. Here we have no lacre, only snow. Snow comes from the north, lacre comes from pain. We have it a little easier. Okay, so it's just a way to trade a hundred echoes for three fragments. That is definitely not worthwhile. I'll have to remember that next time around, but I'll probably forget once again. And that was kind of dull for an like adventure in Wither, so let's at least visit Codex. Visit it once we have the ability to get an event there, I should say. Honestly, I don't really have much else to say. I mean, we did kind of just go through most of the daily events that I have when trying to set up the channel, and I'm oh so thankful that I will get to stop Sunless Sea and then restart it, because this means I will be able to re-roll that winter, like, winter bank that I would encounter if I kept going. Come on. Where's the random event? It's not that hard. Just give me a moment. There we are. The Isle of Answers. What lies within? Uh, port report. That was disappointing, and on that bout of disappointment, I believe we'll end the episode here. Hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been Brainboy20 with Let's Play Sunless Sea, and I'm signing off. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe for it helps out a great deal. And I hope to see you all next time. Farewell.